Hello. No. Over here. No, other way. Bit further. That's it. Hi. How are you doing? I hope you've been well. I hope you've had a, a good week since I was talking to you last. Since last week, I've been thinking a lot about Pope Francis and the letter that he wrote asking us to take care of our world, to look after it as best we are able to do. And I wanted to do something as well. I wanted to do what I could to help make the world a better place, just a little bit better, maybe. And I thought about it and I decided I'm going to grow something. I'm going to grow some plants. Plants are good for the earth. They help clean the air. They make the oxygen that we breathe. And they look nice. And they smell nice. And well, you can even eat some of them. So that's what I decided to do. After all, how hard can it be to grow a little plant or two? Jesus talks about growing things all the time, doesn't he? He talks about scattering seed and wheat and vines and grapes. In fact, there's one story in particular that I was thinking of. Well, I'll read it to you now. The story comes from the Gospel of St. Mark. In it, one day, Jesus says, the farmer goes out and scatters seed on his field. But then he leaves them there to grow all by themselves. He doesn't understand how they grow. He only knows they do, even while he's asleep at night. And all of a sudden, a little sprout appears. And then it grows larger. And then the corn is there, all fully grown. Then Jesus said, this is the way that God works. That doesn't sound too difficult, does it? You scatter the field with seeds and the seeds grow. God does all the rest. And I've got plenty of seed. I've always got seed in because, well, I feed it to the bird. Oh, there's a problem. I feed the seed to the birds. And if I scatter seed in the garden, the birds are going to come down and eat it. Aren't you? Mm. I know. I thought, I know how to stop the birds eating the seed. I'll plant the seeds in pots in the house. And then the birds won't be able to get to them. Not until they're bigger. And they won't eat them then when they're plants. So that's what I did. I got a little pot and I got some seed and I put the seeds in the pot. And I watered them because in the house there's no rain. So I knew to do that. And then I watched. And I waited, and I waited, and I waited, and I watered, and I waited. But eventually, well, eventually, I'll show you what happens. This is what happened. One morning, I went to look, and the first little green shoots were beginning to poke up there out of the soil. And they grew, and they grew, and they grew. But then I thought, there's going to be a problem here. There's too many seeds, too many plants in that tiny plant pot. There isn't going to be room for them all. So I decided maybe they needed a plant pot each. So I transferred them, I transplanted them. I took each little plant and put it into a little plant pot all of its own. Still so I could keep them in the house because if the weather turned bad or the big birds came down, they could trample them or they could get flooded. So I've got them in little plant pots, each plant on its own, and they're still growing. But I can see another problem coming up. One day, they're gonna get too big, even for the plant pot that they're in by themselves. They'll grow and grow and grow and they're going to get too big and that will be time to transplant them once again either outside into the garden or into an even bigger pot 
where they can continue to grow, where they won't get stopped by the pot, they won't get confined by the pot. They'll be able to get bigger and healthier and stronger. You know, something like that happens with us as well. We're growing all of the time. We're getting bigger and healthier and stronger and cleverer. We learn more things, we make more friends and that enriches us, that makes us happier and, and healthier, having friends around us too. That growing all starts when we're born, when we're at home, surrounded by family. It's like being in that little pot with all of the other plants, all helping each other grow, all protecting each other. But there comes a time when you're ready that you start going to school. Because when you go to school, you have all sorts of new opportunities to grow in all sorts of ways. You meet new people, teachers and friends. You learn new things, all sorts of things. Not just things you understand, but things you can do, skills. You develop your skills as an artist or as a musician or in sports. You develop your skills in kindness, in caring for each other, in all sorts of ways. But eventually, there comes a time when you're ready to move on from that first school to a bigger school, where you have even more opportunity, new experiences, new people to meet, new friends to make, new skills to learn. Some of you have got to that stage now. You've been at St. Ninian's for a few years and you've learned so much, you've grown in so many ways. But now it's time for you to be transplanted to a bigger pot to move to a new school, a bigger school, a school with more people, more teachers, more friends, more classmates, more opportunities, new subjects to learn old subjects to learn in a new way. More sports opportunities, more music opportunities. You'll grow in all sorts of ways. A new school gives you that opportunity to continue to grow in the ways that you've been growing in the school you've just finished at. And you know, that story of Jesus, the story that Jesus tells about the farmer scattering the seed and God doing the rest, well, the same's kind of true with us. Just as God watches over those plants, those seeds that the farmer scattered, and makes sure that they're able to grow, God watches over us and helps us grow as well. He pours his love into our hearts, just as rain pours onto the field, and I poured water from a watering can onto the plants. God pours his love into our hearts so that we continue to grow into the best possible people that we can be. So let's pray. Let's pray for all of us as we continue to grow into the best people we can be, the best version of ourselves. Let's pray for all of those people who help us grow, our parents, our families, our teachers, our friends. And let's pray particularly for those boys and girls who have spent some years at St Ninian's and are now ready for the excitement of a new school. So let's pray. God our Father, we thank you for the love that waters, that nourishes us, that strengthens us to grow into the people that you would like us to be. We thank you for the friends that we make, for the teachers, who have helped us in so many ways for our families. We thank you for all the opportunities that you have given us through our time in school. And we pray for those particularly who are moving to a new school. We give you thanks for the time that they've spent with us, for their influence and their help. We pray that they know they carry your love with them wherever they go and always will. May they continue to grow, to be healthy and strong 
and wise. May they grow in happiness and share their happiness with others. And may they help one another as they flourish in your garden. We ask this with confidence through your Son, Jesus. Amen. Thanks for listening once again. Till next time, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. And next time I see you, I'll tell you how the little plants are doing. Bye.